I'm Officer Doug Goddett with the Kettering Police Department. And I'm Cindy Hill in Human Resources. We'll be your guide during this video on distracted driving and driver fatigue. I take this topic seriously and I hope you do too. Because engaging in activities that distract you while driving or driving when you're too tired to stay alert on the road jeopardizes your life and the lives of others. No matter what city or agency you work for, this video is for you. And it talks about your driving safety and that is within your control. In this video, we will show you the risky behaviors. You'll see examples of unsafe driving practices and the potential harm and cost to your city and community. We'll also show you safe driving practices and ways you can avoid distracted driving and driving while fatigued. So let's begin. Eating, talking on a cell phone, texting, or doing anything that distracts a driver increases the chances of a serious crash. Can you spot the distractions in the following driving scenarios? Having lunch while driving may seem like a harmless thing to do. Did you notice that this employee had her eyes off the road for several seconds? No surprise here, the kids are definitely a distraction. Extra care is needed to ensure their safety. Children must understand the proper behavior while driving in a city vehicle. Additional staff may be needed to supervise the children while en route, and drivers should stop the vehicle when situations are too distracting. What's the distraction in this scenario? This employee is completely absorbed in a cell phone conversation, really sure. okay. unaware of others and her surroundings. Clueless. All of these are accidents ready to happen. Sorry! Another risky behavior is driving while fatigued. Fatigue slows reaction time, decreases situational awareness, and impairs judgment. It also has a negative effect on driving performance. A fatigued driver is four times as likely to cause a crash or a near crash. All distractions are dangerous but texting while driving is the most risky behavior because it involves all three types of distractions. Visual distractions, things that take your eyes off the road. Manual, things that take your hands off the wheel. Cognitive, things that take your mind off the road. Sending or receiving a text takes a driver's eyes from the road for an average of 4.6 seconds, the equivalent of driving over the length of an entire football field at 55 miles per hour, blind. It is illegal to text while driving in the state of Ohio. Texting while driving is a bad idea, and now it's against the law in Kettering. Take care of you, and just don't do it. Today we're going to put a few of the employees to the test, asking them to drive on a closed course while texting. Cindy will be in the passenger seat, and will ask each driver to text while navigating the course. Let's see how they do. Okay, Joanne, I need you to text. I'm running late. I didn't get very far. Mm. How far did you get on your tax? One big word. Didn't get close. <laughs> <laughs> a word that doesn't make any sense. It's just 
it's just impossible to do both. <laughs> now, Laura, I want you to type, what did the boss say? That was a lot harder with added speed. A lot harder. And my texting tells you how bad it is. Yeah, you can't even understand Way off, what uh -huh. your text says. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lester, this time I need you to text, I'm running late. Okay. Oh, oh let's come back. <laughs> Good. I need you to text. The meeting starts at three. Meeting starts at three. Oh, you missed that one completely. Couldn't concentrate on both things at once. It had to be one or the other. So kept hitting my brake when I was trying to text and not texting while I was trying to drive and just forgot how to text completely. If I would get the text in, I'd probably run over more phones. Okay, this is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't hit. Yeah. That was much harder. I'm drumming late. You're drumming late. Mm -hmm. But trying to get that in and doing the speed that you would probably have to follow on a regular speed, that was where it was really, I would catch myself if I was trying to type, I'd have to go really slow and how would you to get the letters in. If traffic were coming at you, would it, you know, there's no traffic around you. I personally would stop typing <laughs> if traffic was coming. But yeah, that, that would be very difficult. I would not be typing and texting at the same time because you're weaving all over the place. It's very difficult trying to keep your, your speed up while you're trying to text and drive at the same time and know where you're at. So it's, it's a little offsetting. I didn't really like that part too much. It was difficult and dangerous. It's not a good idea based on what I just went through. Trying to split your attention like that and go through a course is real difficult. Your brain doesn't want to adjust to do, doing those things at the same time. At least my brain didn't. <laughs> so I, I just don't think it's a good idea. To negotiate the cones and to try to find the keys and text, couldn't do it. Ain't no way. Not for me. I don't see how anybody can do both of those things at once. An estimated 93% of auto accidents are caused by driver distraction. There were over 30,000 crashes in Ohio caused by distracted driving from 2009 to 2011. On-the-job crashes can cost a city more than $150,000 per injury and up to $3.6 million per fatality. Even a series of minor fender benders can quickly add significant costs to a city. The total cost to repair a city vehicle can exceed $10,000 per incident. You represent your municipality while working and while you are behind the wheel. Make the following practices a part of your safe driving routine. Always think safety first while driving. Plan ahead and focus on the task at hand, driving safely. Turn off your phone before you drive so you won't be tempted to use it while on the road. Stow away loose objects that could roll around and take your attention away from driving. Do not text while driving. Pull over to a safe place to talk on the phone or to send and receive text messages. Get your vehicle road ready. Adjust seat positions, climate controls, sound systems, and other devices before you drive 
or when your vehicle is stopped. Satisfy that craving and dress for success before you get in the car. Eat meals and snacks before getting behind the wheel or stop to eat if you're driving long distance. Brush your hair, shave, put on makeup, and tie your necktie before you leave or once you reach your destination. Avoid driving when you are overly tired. Rest up before driving at night and long distances. Take frequent breaks or have another rested employee take over when you're too drowsy to drive. Remember, you represent your city while working and that includes while you're behind the wheel. Your city is counting on you to drive safely, no matter what city vehicle you drive. Know your city's safety policies and procedures and practice safe driving habits. Remember, stay alert. Keep your mind and your eyes on the road and your hands on the wheel.